Mr. Miller, you're watching the mailbox. We have a website, islammailbox.com. I'm Yusuf Festus, and we just got this one came in. It says, what about body piercing? Can we poke holes in our bodies? <laughs> Basically is what the question is here. There is a, actually it says, what about body pers- piercing? Uh, and for piercing the face, the chin, the tongue, and there's a, quite a list here. Okay, actually in Islam it's incorrect for us to be poking holes in our body and we should leave alone what Allah has created. There are some instances where plastic surgery is permitted if someone's been in an accident, been seriously burned, or has some deformity and uh, certainly Allah knows best why we would need these forms of alteration to our bodies that He gave us. But as far as doing these other things... Ear piercing, I've never heard anybody say that that was haram. But as far as all the extra holes, especially in the tongue, I would, uh, I'd pull back on that. I'm not going to tell you what's halal and haram on these things. I'm just going to tell you that that sure doesn't sound like something I want to do. And I highly encourage you to stay away from those kind of things because anything that's a risk of poisoning you or giving you infection or, uh, you know, it's not good. And for ladies, come on, please, you know, uh, Piercing the ears, this is one subject, but even then, when you're wearing those earrings, the only one you're going to be able to show them off for anyway is your own husband or your close family. You're not allowed to go out here wearing these big dangly earrings and, and showing off that to the other people anyway. Allah knows best. Okay. You, know. you say Allah guided me to Islam, but millions of Christians say Jesus led me to the cross. You say, no, Jesus is just a man. He can't do anything for you. Only God can help you. If that's true, then why does God fool the people into disbelief as Christians and send them to hell? Well, uh, the last part of your question implies that Allah is fooling people, and that's not true. People are fooling themselves, and Allah lets them make their own choices. Allah doesn't force anybody into the right belief. He doesn't make you be a Muslim or not a Muslim. He allows you to make any choices because if that were true, the way you said it, what about the Hindus? If you're a Christian, what about Hindus? You don't think they're going to paradise. Are you saying that Jesus fooled all of them? And of course, you wouldn't say that. But Jesus is a man, but he's not just a man to us. He's a great and mighty prophet. He's the Messiah. He's the Christ. He's with the law and he's coming back in the last days. We just don't believe he's God or a part of God or a trinity with God. That's the big difference there. But as far as Allah guiding, he guides and he misguides. He allows those to make the choice they want. My choice is to be close to Allah and your choice is to be maybe whatever you are. But I hope, inshallah, that Allah will guide you to the truth. But change the heart first and that'll work for you. Be sure to check out for more of this on our website. It's called islammailbox.com. Till next time, peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.